Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about the various factors that affect the putrefaction process. Before starting, I would like to let you know that this PPT has been uploaded on my website. If you want, you can download it from there. I have provided the link for my website in the description box. Now let's get started. So the factors that affect putrefaction can be divided into two external and internal factors out of which the temperature of the body is one of the most important factors that is going to determine the rate of putrefaction now first let's discuss about the external factors so out of which the most important one is the environmental temperature so high temperature promotes early decomposition so if the temperature is high the putrefaction is going to start early the optimum temperature for decomposition is this that is 21 to 38 degree celsius beyond this range that is above or below this range the decomposition is going to occur at a slower rate and if the temperature is less than 10 degree or more than 38 degree then the decomposition process is going to get delayed the rate of decomposition is about twice as rapid as in summers in summers as in winters as we read in the first line that high temperature promotes early decomposition so the rate of decomposition is about twice as rapid in summers as in winters the optimum temperature helps in first chemical breakdown of the tissue second promoting the growth of microorganisms that are responsible for the decomposition now second important external factor is moisture Presence of moisture promotes decomposition by promoting the growth of microorganisms. We all know that moisture is optimum for growth of microorganisms. So it is going to promote decomposition process as decomposition is caused by microorganisms. If the body dries up quickly, putrefaction ceases and mummification starts. Body is recovered from water if left in air decompose rapidly. Next important factor is air. Free access of air hastens putrefaction because the air conveys organisms to the body. So if the dead body has access to a lot of air, then that is going to increase or hasten the putrefaction process because the air helps conveys or gives the body different types of microorganisms. Stagnant air promotes decomposition whereas movement of air retards the process by evaporating the body fluid and cooling the dead body then comes clothing clothing may reduce the rate of decomposition by preventing invasion of the body by airborne organisms so clothing is like an extra layer of protection that is protecting the body from the airborne organisms so if airborne if organism microorganisms are not able to get in contact with the body then uh, the decomposition is going to be delayed then the manner of burial is also important if the body is buried soon after death putrefaction is less in buried dead bodies the rate of decomposition varies according to the depth of the grave in surface burial the rate of decomposition is more than in the deep burial because of the abundance of bacteria in the surface soil in comparison to deep soil putrefaction is delayed if body is buried in dry sandy soil or the body is placed in a coffin because there is exclusion of water air act and action of insects and animals on the dead body now let's talk about the internal factors first is age in stillborn fetuses or in fans who are unfed or who have not bred the the process of decomposition is slow since it occurs from outside as their bodies are sterile bodies of children putrefy rapidly and of old people slowly next comes the sex of the person sex does not have much to influence but occurs faster in females because of its abundant subcutaneous fatty tissues that contain moisture and retains body heat for a longer period then comes the condition of the body 
emaciated body decomposes later than a well nourished bulky fatty body due to more fluid content as was um, as the reason that was given in this female thing content in the later which promotes growth of microorganisms then the cause of death also is going to be a factor when death is due to infectious or septicemia decomposition is rapid putrefaction is delayed in death due to wasting diseases anemia poisoning by carbonic carbolic acid zinc chloride strychnine heavy metal due to preservative action of these substances on the tissue or the destructive inhibition effects on microorganisms then last external injury on the body is also a factor dead body having external injuries either antemortem or postmortem will decompose earlier of course because the injured area will allow invasion of the body by bacteria so this was all about this video i hope you understood the factors both external and internal factors that affect putrefaction if you found the video to be useful then please like share and subscribe to my channel also hit that bell icon so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video thank you for watching